This is bad. Clutch fan just blew apart. Took out the radiator. And looks like it took out the water pump with it. Rut row raggy. Well, here we are. I got in an airplane to buy this. First impressions of the old flurry. I'm a little nervous. So far, it goes down the road all right, stops good, goes good. God help me, I hope I make it home. <laughs> I'm out of my mind. been driving now for about four hours um, really solid on the road uh, knock on wood um, just stopped again for gas it's been about four hours put a hundred liters for four hours so 25 liters an hour pretty fair for the size of it I think and that I could use a tune-up for sure and it's loud going down the road, but when it stops being loud, then I'll start getting worried, I guess.
2.30 in the afternoon. And uh, 4 o'clock in the morning now. I was just trying to get up here. I had a couple of thoughts. I put 500 kilometers on the right today. 338 miles, basically. It, uh, aside from that obnoxious exhaust leak and the squeal belt, or the fan belt starting to squeal, or the alternator belt actually starting to squeal, it's been working really knock on wood. Pretty good. So, in the morning, I gotta go back to bed and get a few more hours sleep. I'm gonna head over to Canadian Tire, see if I can get a fan belt to put on it, or an alternator belt. Uh, the wipers are in pretty rough shape, I gotta put a set of wipers on it. A piece of rains tomorrow. And uh, make the rest of my way home, which is another thousand kilometers. <laughs> Or roughly 600 miles. So to recap today, I flew from Sydney to Montreal, got in a vehicle i never seen before, sight unseen. Um, made a deal with it that I'd make it nice if it got me home, so I'll have to follow through on that one, I guess. Making a deal with the devil. Hey, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Just had a look at the, the flurry. And uh, it was so late when I got on the road last night, I just wanted to pound some hours in, so I didn't get on the road till two o'clock. And Although I looked it over before I left, there were some, some things I noticed when I started driving, the fan belt squealing. It, it's actually loose. It's not in a very fun place to get at. If you can see, down here, it's not, not in a fun place at all. So, so what my plan is, I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire, I'm gonna buy a fan belt for it. I'm gonna buy some tools, because I don't have a tool with me. Idiot. Um, I'm gonna tighten up the fan belt, and I'm gonna buy a spare. Hopefully that'll get me home. And the other thing I looked at, because it has a bad vibration when you take off the gas, and I had a s sneaking suspicion that the U-joint was bad. Well, it's really, really bad, and it's, honestly, it's too bad to ignore right now. So I'm going to have to go and get a U-joint for it at Canadian Tire, and hopefully, without spending a whole bunch of money, I can get enough tools to replace it. Hopefully, I can get away with just replacing the two outside cups, which are, which is what's really bad and hopefully I can nurse it to get it home um, other than that it's uh, um, so she's pretty ugly inside the plan is to do a remodel <clears throat> gut it out start new well not really gut it out but fix what needs to be fixed freshen it up make it look like it was a uh, done in the century and uh, clean it up and make a fun family rig off the Canadian tire or at least wait for it to open at 9 o'clock so just came out of Canadian tire after spending $269 yuck bought some tools I got a U-joint and I got some fan belts uh, Band-aid it up to get me the rest of the way home. Because I'll settle for a band-aid right now. And uh, believe it or not, they had parts for a 1975 GM Flurry. Anyways, see how it goes. So I've got the doghouse off. Here's what we're looking at. The alternator's right there, so it's not too too bad to get at. So hopefully I'm just gonna get away with tightening it up and uh, have the belts for emergency use only. But uh, yeah. So there's a good reason why the, the belt was loose because the bolt wasn't tight. 
so I got that adjustment that only took five minutes. Yay, hopefully I don't have to change that belt because it's in a nasty, nasty spot. But anyways, off to the U-joint. Like I said earlier, the badge from the butt, the U-joint was too, uh, too bad to ignore anymore. So, luckily, I have the purse. Now I just gotta make shift something to change it. Okay. Well, in case you're ever in a pinch. Black iron serves well as a place to pound uh, U joint dope. I hope. Yeah. So, we got it moving. Here's the problem I can't get it moving all the way. So, next I go buy a chisel and split the cap of the U-joint, I guess, because uh, this ain't moving anymore. Okay. I think that was a little bad. Back on the road. It's driving much better, no quieter, but I didn't fix that. Uh, belt's not squealing. Uh, vibration's gone, much nicer to drive. So, uh, drive for about an hour and get underneath it, check the bolts, and uh, see that it gets me home. been driving like a dream oh Jesus there's the there's the parts that uh came into the u-joint I left them on the back bumper that'll tell you how smooth this thing's driving right now it's really really impressing me how well it's built how tight it is on the road it's working good I got another seven, eight hours of driving left before I get home. If it goes like this, it's gonna be pretty uneventful and I hope this is the way it goes. Knock on wood. So, that being said, it's time to keep rolling. Coffee time. Well, here we are, broke down outside of Moncton. This is bad. Clutch fan just blew apart, took out the radiator. And it looks like it took out the water pump with it. Rut roll raggy. Uh, so, radiator's out. So, Lots of damage. Hopefully the local rat shop can record. Day three. Got some used parts sorted, sourced. Thanks to Brad of BLP. And uh, next, hopefully the radiator gets recorded today and I can get it all back together and get on the road. I am tired and I miss my family. It's all for now. Well, here we go. She's going back together. And uh, what happened was took the original radiator to a radiator shop here in Moncton and uh, they wanted $900 plus tax if they could use my old tanks and they wanted 1500 if the tanks were not usable 
and uh, if, that, if I had to go through with that, I would have had to abandon ship. So what we have is a workaround, a field repair. So we took a radiator of an old van that Brett had on the lot here, turned it sideways, we're filling it with water, and uh, hopefully we'll get back on the road here in about an hour's time. So, I need some luck.